Rays win 11 to 10. Not that they needed any more of a confidence boost, but you come back in a game like that Man. against a division leader. You mentioned it though, John. We often talk about their pitching for good reason. Their yeah. pitching is excellent, but their offense in the past few years has been middle of the pack. This year, they're number one in run scored. Yeah, they were up to 12th, I think, maybe last year, the year before. Now first in runs scored. I mean, not just Cruz, not just Wander Franco, who's tying Mickey Mantle uh, for the streak. I mean, R Rosarena, Wendell Meadows. I mean, uh, allow. They have yes. terrific hitters up and down that lineup. It's it's not a fluke. They are a great hitting team. And right now, I think it's fair to say they're the best team in the American League and the favorite to get into the World Series again. At one point, we thought, Kenny, maybe the Yankees make a push. That's not going to happen. Now, eight and a half game lead. Tampa is going to win this division. Absolutely, they're going to win it. And they're going to carry the best record in the league into the postseason. So they'll have home field advantage throughout the American League playoffs. And they'll get the wild card winner, probably the Yankees or Red Sox, as it stands right now. Mm -hmm. So you look at them, and I start to wonder, the heck is anybody going to beat them the postseason? Because they're going to come at you with their waves of pitching. Their offense, as John pointed out, is much improved. This is a different kind of offense than we've seen from them. The excitement that a Rosarena and Franco bring and the veteran presence of Cruz and Lau and all these guys and the platoons that they employ and all the different things that they do, they can beat you any number of ways. I think they're going to be a handful again in the postseason and a possible World Series team. 33 home runs from their catchers, by the way. Zanino's got 27 home runs. Wow. 20 well, they hit homers. Runs. Yeah, they all hit home runs. And how about Wander Franco? Came up Man. a little quiet at first. Now he's got his unreal on base. Incredible. Streak. 20 years old. Ties the AL record for on base streak. Like Mantle, of course, I tweeted a little snarky as an old, very old, as Brian <laughs> Kenny pointed out, Yankee <laughs> fan. I said, now let's see him get lead the majors in OPS eight times. Right. And win seven World Series <laughs> and be in the top two in MVP six times. Of course, that wasn't really appropriate. The reality of it is the guy. It's you know, Twitter. The yeah, guy, it's you know, it's I'm in a momentary thought, and I, I felt. <laughs> Bad. A million people coming at me about what a jerk I am. I can't really disagree, but that I mean, it's a fantastic accomplishment. I mean, seriously, the time Mickey Mantle, who I think is one of the greatest players of all time. Franco, by the way, more hits than swings and misses during the 36 game. Wow. Well, that's the other thing. He isn't striking out very much at all. And right. I spoke with Carlos Rodriguez from the Rays. He's the guy that is their vice president of international. He signed Franco. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm not sure if he's going to be a top of the order guy or a middle of the order guy, and it's going to be really exciting to see how he evolves. And it reminded me, Tatis Jr., yeah. middle of the order, top of the order. Could be either. Acuna Jr., same thing. These guys all seem to have multi-skills, yeah. and it's just exciting to watch. He is someone who is so much fun to watch also because he plays so hard. Yeah, and you mentioned that discipline. One strikeout his last 11 games. Yeah. That's no joke.